Good morning and welcome. My name is Cindy and I am from Explore EFT. Hi, and I'm Corby Furrow from Re Radiant Core Solutions. And today we have a special guest, Nicole Dominguez. And can you just maybe introduce yourself for us? Yeah, hi everyone, I'm Nicole and I, I'm with Nicole Dominguez Coaching. And I'm from King City, so just north of Toronto. Right. Yeah, that's great because we're out in Alberta in Edmonton and Calgary. So yes, this is great. So we're so pleased to help you, have you here. You are an EFT practitioner yes. and you also do other things. So can you tell us like what EFT has done for you and kind of where it's taken you? Yes. So I started tapping many years ago now and I kind of happened into it a little by accident because at the time I was going through a lot of stuff in my life. A lot of actually physical pain and I was doing a lot of work around that but I'd had a lot of fear coming up around that pain and at the time um, I was introduced to another EFT practitioner and I thought okay it's a bit different it's a bit weird but I have nothing to lose at this point right. the world was so small and um, that was really challenging so I, I just went with it and eventually it turned into a career a career to me. Great. And, and you found the relief you were looking for? I did. I did. I, that's when I was able to start addressing the emotional components mm -hmm. to the pain that I was um, challenged with. Great. Yeah. 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 And that was really effective for me. Things could, I could finally start to calm my system down about it and actually start living a little bigger again. Mm. Just like, just like into the small little world I'd kind of, positioned myself into yeah right? and that's the key is emotions have so much uh, effect on our body and everything that we forget that they're tied together that physical pain illness everything else shows up in our body because of the stresses we're not dealing with yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, when you have um highly sensitive systems as well which i'm a highly sensitive system i'm a high s um the the pain and the upset can actually be felt at a greater or deeper level mm. so having the eft and being able to address a sensitive system as well in such a gentle effective way mm. really helps me and, and and helps others as well who nice. Nice. That. so how so long you, have you oh, go ahead cindy sorry can you explain that high s because a lot of people would go, what is a high S? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, yeah, so that's from the DISC profile that we use, uh, usually in our, our practice with our clients. And high S is just highly sensitive. It's something that you, you come into the world with. Mm -hmm. We don't come in and go, hmm, I feel like being highly sensitive. It's, it's part of why, how we experience the world. Right. Um, and so, things that other people it might just roll off their back or have no or little impact a highly sensitive person it will penetrate into them deeply mm -hmm. very deeply yeah. and it, it gets embedded and um and a lot of that too is highly sensitive people often feel other people's emotions mm. well such as i do so um that's really confusing as well when you've got all of your own emotions and then you're picking up on other people yeah, right. <laughs> just imagine <laughs> not even knowing the difference or or even realizing gosh that's what i'm doing i'm actually not sad it's actually someone else i know that's yeah. sad right and yeah. it's confusing so yeah. i actually work um, with a lot of highly sensitive individuals as well Mm -hmm. with regards to my my EFT practice right so how has EFT enhanced your coaching practice because I know you've got several different things that you do within your your practice yeah EFT I guess personally for me to start there was um, when I started looking after all my emotional baggage that I was dragging around with me for years that I actually thought I dealt with or didn't even realize I knew how I didn't know how to deal with it. I just no. thought I, you know, it was, I guess you just bring it with you. So when that happened, uh, I spent a lot of time living in a survival type of mode mm. and kind of squashing my dreams and my hopes and everything because it was just all I could do to just kind of get through a day. Yeah. There was a point, and um, 
But as I started to work through, because we know in our work, we have to do our work first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great requirement for us, but yeah, exactly. Cause you can only take people as far as you go. Otherwise you might leave them in your own trauma. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and that's right? so important with helping professionals. So as I went along, I started realizing my intuition started to really open up. Mm -hmm. So even though I was just in my using it in my coaching practice with individuals, my intuitive piece was starting to really expand. Mm -hmm. I started to work more and more with it. So as I cleared out my old stuff, my natural abilities that I had started to kind of come back in and, and get turned up to the point where I could use them very effectively. Mm -hmm. So I've gone on since my EFT, with my EFT to also expand into doing intuitive work for other people and giving them the information as well. So I have this kind of a, a bubble I work with people in, what I like to call. And what happens is I can give people some really great information, but it's just information unless they decide to actually integrate mm -hmm. yeah. that information yeah. and take some action yeah. with regards to that information. And that's where a lot of people kind of get stuck. Yes. The mm -hmm. action pieces, right? Mm -hmm. so, and I just find EFT, EFT, sorry, to be just so darn grounded and practical in this physical world because we need to move our bodies. We need to literally move into action. And gosh, doesn't that can't that can create some conflict? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah it certainly has. It's a beautiful oh. way to uh, once you hit that roadblock. You know, it's it helps you climb over that mountain rather than having to, you know, fight your way through it. Exactly. And, and forcing through those big changes. Yeah, you can do it. It's possible. Uh -huh. What happens is it depletes us in other areas of our life. Yes. So, right. So that, you know, that burnout that we can, like people can experience. Mm -hmm. So when we're not supporting our systems through these changes that whether we'd like to make or we find ourselves within, um, it, it can really take a toll on us in, in certain ways if we're not consistently supporting our, our systems. Yeah. Well, it, shows up, it shows up as overwhelm and anxiety and depression and body pain. So yeah, that's why this is such a beautiful modality for sure. Yeah. And I just find, like, as I said, it's that practical down to earth piece of um, way of just moving through life. Mm. Moving through life mm -hmm. in a way that is also can be a little more gentle and with ease rather than that, that force, mm -hmm. yeah. that force piece where we, we think, well, that's just, that's all we know. So that's what we do. Yeah. But it's no nice pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gosh, yeah. True. I know enough pain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're taught over and over and over to do that kind of thing. You know, we, we have to, you know, start changing the messages that people are hearing and, and living their lives by to know that there is a different way of, of being in this world and it doesn't have to be, like you say, with that force and it can be with ease and grace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, life is all about change. We're constantly finding ourselves within change. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for, for, for those of us who don't like change, <laughs> that, that can be difficult, right? Yeah. Because it's, life is constant transition. Yes. yes. Really? Yeah, um, how's it saying go is people don't mind being changed, but they they mind if they, it's forced upon them type thing, you know, so if, if it's a choice, then it's a lot easier than, you know, the changes that somebody says, oh, you have to change or, or as we're talking, the change in our um, way of thinking is a big change, which brings up that resistance that you said, talked about, you know, when we want to change the way we're being or how we are in this world, that brings up a lot of fear. It does. Mm. It does. I know it brings up fear in myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though we're always doing our work and working and working along, that doesn't mean I don't have fear within new changes, changes and choices in my life. Yes. Yeah. But I just know how to work with it. Yes. And calm it down. Yeah. And keep taking those steps forward. Yeah. while calming my system. So thank yeah. goodness for that. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's the mm -hmm. whole thing. I think people forget that, you know, it's not about having no emotions. It's about having that freedom to recognize them, 
and allow it and deal with it because we've got the tools to deal with it and the people and practitioners here. And then, then you can move on with it instead of having it stuffed down. And, and then it becomes that huge mountain again if, once that happens, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so good to work with the emotions that are showing up because they are just what they are. No judgment. It's just a message for us to answer. And you had to go, oh, what are you trying to tell me now? What, what course correction would be best for me so I feel better or different? And that's the beautiful thing about EFT is it gives us that time to step back, have a look at it, and deal. Yeah, and I, I remember a time where I'd be really frustrated by that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, what now? Really? <laughs> what now? And so it's nice that I can even kind of take a look back and go, oh, yeah, I remember those days. I remember yes. when I was really frustrated when I would get a new message because I was constantly getting that. So now it's it's nice to see when you're at a point, you, you know, you've seen where you've been and you've been working along and now you realize you've arrived at this new place and space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, that feels really good. Yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. Well, and we want to thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your story and, and a little bit different take on EFT um, as we've been trying to show that there's so many different ways to use this beautiful tool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having me, ladies. It was yeah. Awesome. yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Bye.